toes to the way you move. Blessings, be very young and very talented Adele. And uh, she was on the stage in uh, Australia a couple of days ago, and she decided that she wanted to uh, honor uh, her favorite artist. So she did an impression of Beyonce on stage. And you can see it on my Facebook page because I posted the, uh, the video of her doing her best Beyonce impression during her concert, which was fun to watch. She laughed it off. She doesn't take herself seriously, which is good. And uh, so she had a lot of fun. She stood in front of the fan because Beyonce... And uh, check out her impression. That is a song called When We Were Young. And it's a request from Bijan Hessian, who is a new listener in Iran. So, Bijan, we welcome you and all of you Iranian brothers and sisters and co workers and friends and class. Thank you very much for making that request. For calling in, too, all the way from Iran, 202 619 That's our studio number, 202 192077. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a fantastic weekend. Uh, Amanda played softball. Um, her school team started their season, their practice season, uh, on Saturday, and she pitched, and she did very well. But one thing that was particularly exciting for me over the weekend is I got to see what is the number one film in the, in the United States right now, Beauty and the Beast. And I will tell you, two thumbs up. I would have to give a full, 100% for Apple endorsement to uh, the film. The Disney people have $300 million to make this movie. This is by far the most expensive production for Disney ever. And it is also the biggest opening weekend for a film ever. In the United States, it made $170 million its opening weekend. And that's the U.S. Let's add in the worldwide ticket sales for the film. And hopefully Disney will not only recover their $300 million quickly, but they'll be able to pay Emma Watson. <laughs> because she is absolutely, absolutely adorable as Belle in Beauty and the Beast. It's a great film, great singing, and she's come a long way from you know, her role in Harry Potter to be this young, beautiful woman uh, as Belle in Beauty and the Beast. Loved it. Here's a request coming up now from uh, Kelya. Kelya is in Nigeria listening to Border Crossings and asked me to play Bob Marley, No Woman, No Cry, right here on the VOA1 Music Network.
Greetings, that is Prince and Kiss for Juju Rahman, who is listening in Ethiopia. And that is a new listener who cried out to say hello to Juju. Hello. Hello. illness that caused the deformity, didn't realize it until the child actually was born by C-section, um, they were warned that there might be risks involved, given her condition, she had a, a condition, and so she said that Prince never really got over the death of our baby, and uh, he held the baby, when the baby died, the baby was cremated seven days later, and so, uh, you know, she said, you never get over something like that. And Prince himself, she said, I could tell he was different after that. He just was never really the same. It was something that just, you know, just... ...who are listening to the show. Also, a happy birthday, Ojaswa Singh. And Ojaswa Singh is in India listening and said it's my birthday today. So happy birthday to Ojaswa. I hope you're having a great birthday. Now, speaking of India and speaking of listeners around the world who tune in to border crossings by shortwave, we have new frequencies coming up starting March 26th. That is a time change. This coming up weekend, international time change, universal time change. Our frequencies for border crossings hour will be as follows, 4930-6080-15580 and 17530. So please make note of that if you uh, rely on shortwave to get the program, like many do in India and other places around the world. Those are the frequencies. I want to say hi to Cletus, who is in Ghana and off to work. Emmanuel Gaboy is listening. Snaharshta Sasodia is another uh, listener in India who uh, tunes into the show. It's Naharsh as a, a doctor. Jack Gilson's listening. Godfrey Owusu Malbon is tuned in. Mohammed Taha, Charlie, Charlie Charles, and Memento Mori are all listening to Border Crossing today on this Monday, the first day of spring. And we've got a request now from India. And this is for Aditha Pratika. It's Simple Plan, and welcome to my life. Do you ever feel like breaking down? Do you ever feel out of place? Like somehow you just don't belong, and no one Witamy wszystkich słuchaczy audycji Border Crossings nadawanej na żywo ze studia numer 4 Głosa Walki w Waszyngtonie. Audycję prowadzi Larry London.
Scars that remain I see Wayne I'm looking at you And that guy is known as Wheezy. It's Lil Wayne. And uh, that song is a popular request. Donatus Chorbe wanted that, featuring Bruno Mars. And the song is called Mirror here on Border Crossings. I'm Larry London. And Lil Wayne was on stage last Thursday in Austin, Texas, at the South by Southwest Music Conference. And uh, he told the audience that the Carter 7 will definitely be released. It's an album that's kind of been hung up. Sue's record label. He's uh, launched a $50 million lawsuit against uh, uh, Cash Money Records. And that is a label that also has uh, Nicki Minaj and a number of other very well known uh, hip hop, rap, RB artists. So, uh, now in the big dance, the Sweet 16, the finals, and uh, March is always the time for March Madness and basketball season and college basketball season to come to an end. I've got a video of a kid whose uh, father is the uh, athletic director at Northwestern University. They lost in the end their game. It's a video of the athletic director's son crying, and he is just, if you talk about being passionate about something, You've got to see this kid and his reaction to his dad's team losing at the very end of the game. I've got videos of Adele doing her imitation of Beyonce, which I talked about earlier. And I also got videos of these twin babies. They're little babies, and they're crawling out of their crib in the middle of the night. They crawl into the bedroom, and they have a party. Two little babies having a party. They're throwing pillows around. They're just jumping on a sofa in their bed. Parents hear it. Parents come into the bedroom, put them back in the crib, clean up the pillows, leave the room, go back to bed. What do the kids do? Climb back out of the crib, throw the pillows around again. They're having a good time. That video's on our website, so go to facebook.com slash VOA Larry London. This is Border Crossing's Michael Jackson for Tay in Ethiopia. This one's called Beatles. <laughs>
what we're going to do. We're going to get out of here, and we are going to feed a tay in Ethiopia. Thank you for the request. Michael's daughter, Paris, 18 years young. She's on Harper's Bazaar magazine cover for April. Looking beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. She's hoping to have an acting career. That's what she wants to do. And uh, she said... I have no information that supports those tweets, and we have looked carefully inside the FBI. The Department of Justice has asked me to share with you that the answer is the same for the Department of Justice and all its components. The Department has no information that supports those tweets. James told me that the protocol for obtaining a wiretap approval cannot be done solely by any president. Comey also confirmed that the FBI is actively investigating Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election and if there are any links between the Trump campaign and Moscow. The FBI director says investigators are looking to see if any crimes were committed. The U.S. Senate is holding its first confirmation hearing for Neil Gorsuch. The judge President Trump picked to fill a long vacancy on the Supreme Court. The court has been run short of its nine justices. Former President Obama's nominee to fill the vacancy, Judge Merrick Garland, never got a confirmation by the Republican-led Senate. And heavy rainfall has triggered flooding and mudslides across the roof. There is additional rain during the forecast, and half the country is under a state of emergency with rainy season delivering about ten times the normal rainfall. From here in Washington, this is VOA News. Virgin announced today it will trigger Article 50, and only secondly, a country's intention to leave the European Union on May or March 29th. Theresa May is the British Prime Minister. When they voted in the referendum last year, it wasn't just about leaving the EU. I think they voted to change. They voted to make the country work, to make sure that it works for everyone, not just the privileged few. And as part of that, we want to build, we have a plan for of the EU treaty covers how a member can withdraw. The breakup began with last year's referendum, which British voters narrowly chose to leave the EU. The vote appeared to be driven by anti-establishment sentiment and the feeling the EU governing structure has taken too much control away from the common British citizen. Pakistan opened all border crossings with landlocked Afghanistan for travelers and trade convoys Monday, a month after closing them on grounds terrorists were using Afghan soil for plotting deadly attacks against the country. Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has taken the decision as a goodwill gesture and hoped the Afghan government would take steps required to address the reasons that triggered the border closure, according to an official statement. A presidential spokesman in Kabul welcomed the Pakistan 
Khalistani decision, but reiterated that closing borders is not the way to address political issues between the two countries. U.S. Homeland Security officials are scheduled to begin fingerprinting refugees held on two Pacific islands. Some of them will eventually come to the United States. Australia pays Nauru and Papua New Guinea to accommodate more than 2,000 asylum seekers whose living conditions on the islands have come under criticism from human rights organizations. President Trump has reluctantly agreed to accept the refugees under a deal signed by his predecessor with Australia, calling the agreement, in Trump's words, a dumb deal. And a new report shows Norway is the happiest country on earth. Norwegians are responding to the result of the report this way. I think it's a work-life balance. Uh, so we have a big um, tasty net. So we get free education, free health care. Um, and yeah, it's really good to the nature. The answer to why Norwegians are happy is this boring is well-functioning institutions. So uh, uh, the school, health care, police, all the bureaucracy treat people with respect, and that trickles down and makes us all happy. The World Happiness Report also said Americans are getting sadder and suggests that it takes more than just money to be happy. World News from VOA. This is African News Tonight on the Voice of America. News Tonight from the English to Africa service of the Voice of America. Your source for Pan-African news and world developments. I'm Kim Lewis in Washington. And I'm Yehis Wuhid coming up on African news tonight. I just spoke to the Italian Coast Guard and they confirmed that 3,000 migrants were rescued off the coast of Libya on Sunday as they were trying to make their way to Europe across the Mediterranean. After some calm weather, the migrants are now beginning to arrive in large numbers and taking advantage of this fine weather on the sea. That's uh, reporter Josephine McKenna in Rome. Full details coming up. Also, at least 10 people are reportedly killed in drought-related clashes in central Kenya. And after more than 40 Somali refugees were killed last Friday, the Arab coalition fighting rebels in Yemen has called for the port of Hodeida to be placed